What's up everybody, welcome to Rewind245. I'm here to give you a little review for Mars Like a Baby, a PlayStation Vita exclusive. Um, and I believe it's an indie game. But yeah, this is a PlayStation Vita exclusive for the time being. Um, who knows if it ever come to the PlayStation 4 or whatever. But anyway, um, I'll just share my thoughts and um, give you an overall review of what I think of the game. And for the most part, I really enjoyed it. Um, I will share some of you some of the pros and cons of the game. Now, the pros, gameplay wise, Mars Like a Baby is very unique. Um, it uses the touch screen and it uses the back touch. Um, and, and by tapping the back touch, you could trigger an interactive environment thing where the environment would change or do something to um, change up the gameplay and um, it also uses the left and right analogs but that's only at one point in the game for the most part the game uses the, the touch screen and the back touch and the way they're used like how I showed you with the back touch it's used to kind of change the environment and interact with it and with the front touch with the touch screen you get um, you could use the balloon, you could touch the balloon, or you could guide the baby from point A to point B. Um, and um, yeah, like how I said, um, gameplay wise is very unique. Um, another positive is um, the graphics. It has a very charming, very kind of a little bit dark, but it has a very Tim Burton like art style and makes it for, of, you know, it, it makes it eye peeling. It's, um, and it looks really good. Um, but yeah, that's really much it for the po positives. Um, unique gameplay and good looking graphics and great art style. Now on for the negatives. Um, I did encounter some glitches that did kind of break some of the puzzle solving or obstacles that I had to go through from the game. There were certain situations where there was an obstacle or there was a certain puzzle that I needed to solve but I couldn't get through it because there was a glitch and I knew how to do the puzzle or the obstacle but there was a glitch in the game. Um, but um, I easily resolve these glitches by, you know, resetting the game or having having to do something in order to get out of the glitch. Um, another negative is, um, I guess, some of the puzzles and obstacles you kind of have to rush through because that's just the way the puzzles were designed to. So even though, like, the back touch is used fine for the most part, there's certain sections in the game where you have to quickly navigate through the controls in order to complete the puzzle or the obstacle. And I really didn't like that because for especially for a game that requires a level of accuracy, you need to get give your time or take your time in order to get through some of those. And with that said, another con is the um, the the controls. Like even though the gameplay is very unique, the controls are not very fluid or accurate. Whenever you touch the balloon or control the baby, um, um, yeah, like how I said, they're not very accurate or fluid. Sometimes the, the controls go a little bit off. Um, it will not recognize, even though like I'm touching the balloon straight on, it will like float away or whatever. Um, but this is not extremely bad, but it does happen and it does become quite annoying. The back touch is mostly used fine for the most part. It's fairly straightforward and simple. But like how I said, there are certain moments in the game where you have to rush through the puzzles or obstacles, and it makes the um, it makes it makes um, you know doing the, using the back touch a little bit more challenging. Um, and like how I said, it uses the left and right analog stick. That's also used pretty straightforward. Um, you know that's not a bad control. But like I think yeah, my main wrap up is the touch the touch controls, where it requires a level of accuracy and fluidly but it doesn't really have that a hundred percent and this goes with other Vita games like Rayman Legends and Unch I'm sorry Uncharted Golden Abyss where it uses the front touch screen and you know it's not completely accurate because that's just the way that it's, it's just not perfect you know but other than that the game's really good um, I enjoyed my time with it it has a very sweet story it has a very a touching ending has very um unique and interesting characters um i wouldn't highly recommend this game but it is worth giving it a try you know like i said it's short and sweet it won't last you it will only last you for a couple hours but other than that i think it's worth checking out um if you play the game um, what would you rate it um if you have finished it um and yeah thanks for watching the video have a nice day